tourism has been one of the fastest growing economic sectors since the 1950s, with considerable economic, environmental and social impacts on host destinations. To ensure that tourism destinations develop sustainably, policy, planning and management frameworks for tourism development are needed. Tourism has had a profound impact upon destinations worldwide. Although this impact has been positive for many destinations, there are numerous examples where tourism has negatively impacted upon the environment and the host community. The negative impacts of tourism can be linked to inadequate or non-existent planning frameworks for tourism development. As Peter Murphy reflected some 30 years ago now, tourism was seized upon with little forethought concerning a viable tourism product, the social and environmental consequences of development, or the spillover effects into surrounding areas. As such, the failure to proactively plan for tourism development has left many destinations with a legacy of social and environmental consequences. Experience has shown that it is often too late to reverse or redirect unwanted development once it has become established in a destination, and these destinations will always suffer from environmental and social problems that are both detrimental to tourists and residents. Therefore, tourism development should not be permitted to progress in an ad hoc manner without an overall guiding framework and predetermined strategies toward development objectives. Let's hear more about why planning for tourism is so important. Yeah, Queensland has a, a fairly comprehensive uh, destination uh, tourism planning uh, system and framework. Uh, there's a, an overarching state plan and then there are uh, associated regional tourism plans for each of the 13 destinations that make up Queensland. So after, uh, around about the same time as destination uh, success was being done, the state plan, each of the regional tourism organisations agreed to develop a tourism plan for their destination. So, uh, and it would draw on the, all the work that was done for destination success, but it was it would then develop it to reflect the particular needs of that destination. So we now have 13 regional tourism destination plans that, that very much reflect the direction of the state plan. Yeah, so the, the, the state plan basically has six, six key strategies. So those strategies, they look at having a, a balanced portfolio of markets. So we, you know, we focus on the markets that are best for Queensland. Uh, it's at preserving nature and culture, looking at quality experiences, uh, looking at uh, innovation and also looking at things like aviation and access. So they were the key things for, for Queensland. And so each of those state plans uses those same six strategies, but very much what, uh, but what works for their particular destination. So if we think about tourism planning, what does a tourism plan actually aim to achieve? Well, most tourism plans are concerned with creating enjoyable products and experiences for tourists, as well as improving the quality of life for host community residents, particularly increasing the economic benefits of tourism for local people. Tourism plans can also set the physical patterns of development. They might look at strategies for redistributing tourist flows to areas of the destination that do not attract as many visitors. Importantly, plans should provide a mechanism for conserving and protecting scarce resources, whether they are environmental, cultural or built heritage. They can also focus on the promotion and marketing of destinations and coordinate the various stakeholders that make up the tourism destination. And finally, a tourism plan needs to be developed alongside relevant legislation and regulation. A review found there were more than 225 separate government acts just at the federal and state level in Australia that influenced tourism development, ranging from environmental management and land use planning to the provision of tourism, hospitality and event services. There would be many more if we considered the many local government level policies, acts and legislation. In fact, it is important to note that it is usually the local level of government which has the most influence on how tourism develops in a destination, as they are the ones that will normally control land use planning, zoning and local transportation. It is now fairly well accepted that tourism destination plans and strategies must be underpinned by sustainable development principles. That is, they should not only be concerned about economic growth and increasing visitor numbers, but also environmental protection and minimising socio-cultural impacts. 
Planning based on the principles of sustainable development has two further requirements. Firstly, it should be strategic and have a long-term orientation that sets the direction for future development, marketing and management of tourism. Secondly, tourism destination stakeholders should have the opportunity to participate meaningfully in the tourism planning and decision making process. Stakeholder participation and collaboration in tourism destination planning has become increasingly important. Let's hear about the consultation process that is involved in developing Queensland's tourism plan. As you might imagine, tourism sort of uh, is very many tentacles and, and tends to involve a lot of different players. So the state plan uh, obviously involved um, not only obviously Tourism Events Queensland, but Tourism Australia is involved in with all the research they did. Uh, a whole suite of state government agencies, so not the not just the tourism department, but obviously national parks, main roads, transport, ports, airports, all those sorts of agencies that are dealing with those things that influence tourism were all involved in the development of state plan. Then we had tourism operators themselves were involved. Planning is a key component of tourism destination management and sets the platform for product development, marketing and the development of infrastructure. Being strategic, engaging stakeholders in a collaborative process and giving due consideration to the environmental and social impacts of tourism development alongside the economic is key to the sustainable development of a tourism destination.